These three devices are all doing something on the camera deck. The Redmi K90 Pro Max added a base unit on the camera deck. The Realme GT8 Pro has a replaceable mask and the iQ S5 has a square breathing light. Did they all plan to do this together? The K90 Pro Max uses a 1.5K screen with a new pixel arrangement, while the GTA Pro and IQS5 both have 2K screens. Redmi claims this 1.5K screen has the effect of a 2K screen but with lower power consumption than a 2K screen. It seems like it's winning. The K90 Pro Max supports full brightness DC dimming and the Realme GT8 Pro also supports full brightness DC dimming. For the IQ S5's full brightness DC dimming, you need to go into developer mode to turn on this switch, then you can switch to full brightness DC dimming. Let's take a look at their indoor manual maximum brightness values. The K90 Pro Max has an original polarized screen, and the Realme GT8 Pro also has an original polarized screen. The manufacturer of the IQ OS 5 claims it has removed the polarizer, and IQ has named it non-polarized natural light. As everyone knows, the polarizer in the screen module mainly has two functions. First, it resists glare caused by ambient light on the screen. Second, it eliminates reflections, which means it prevents the screen's own light from reflecting back and forth between multiple layers of material, causing black to turn grey and making the image less clear. Its drawbacks are that it reduces light utilisation and also increases the thickness of the module. How does IQ solve the internal and external reflections after removing the polarizer from the screen? IQ and Samsung's solution is to use an RGB color filter, a black barrier layer, and an AR anti-reflective coating. IQ S5 users should definitely not peel off that surface layer of film, as removing it will affect the anti-reflective rate. Removing the polarizer in a normal screen, I don't know if it really makes sense, whether the benefits outweigh the drawbacks or vice versa. Let's take it one step at a time. Okay, let's adjust them to the same brightness level and see their DC light dimming screen flicker performance. Remember, you must compare at the same brightness level because even the same phone will have different screen flicker performance at different brightness levels, so be sure to remember that. You can see that at 409 nits, they are all at 120Hz DC light dimming. The width of the black bars is about the same, indicating that their duty cycles are similar. The K90 Pro Max and GT8 Pro have black bars that are about the same shade, both relatively light with lower fluctuation depth. In contrast, the black bars on the IQ OS5 are darker, with greater fluctuation depth and overall its screen flicker performance is not as good as the K90 Pro Max and GT8 Pro. Continue, let's lower their brightness to the same level of 111 nits for comparison. At this brightness level, you may have noticed that the K90 Pro Max has two lines, one darker and one lighter. This is because the K90 Pro Max at a 60Hz refresh rate performs a 120Hz like DC dimming based on a 60Hz TFT reset to ensure consistent brightness and darkness with the 120Hz display effect. The varying depth of the black bars is because the timing of true and false resets is different, so the depth is also different. At this time, the fluctuation depth should be referenced to the 60Hz reset, which is the deeper one. You can see that at a 120Hz refresh rate, its two black bars are the same depth. The screen flicker performance of the three devices is still the same as before. The K90 Pro Max and GT8 Pro are similar, while the screen flicker of the IQUS5 is somewhat worse than theirs. Let's lower their brightness to the minimum and see. At this point, you should turn your screen brightness to the maximum, otherwise you won't be able to see clearly. The K90 Pro Max has a minimum brightness of about 1.1 nits, the GT8 Pro is 1.8, and the IQ S5 has a minimum brightness of about 1.9 nits. At the minimum brightness, their fluctuation depth is relatively large, and the duty cycle has also decreased. Although the IQ S5 is still more severe, at this point, mutual harm seems meaningless. This is their brightness and color consistency situation. This is the K90 Pro Max, this is the GT8 Pro, and this is the IQ S5. At the end of the video, there is still the issue of color shift when viewed from an angle. When tilted to a certain degree, color shift occurs. Later, I always wanted to look back. We, the production line workers, singing together, hope the video was helpful to you. Bye-bye.